Hey guys, and we are in off season number two, and we will be pushing into season number three. So for now, here is the off season. I want to show you guys the school budgets for right now. So a little bit higher on discipline uh, for fighting Ewok and the Martial Thundering Herd uh, due to that little uh, one year probation thing you see up there. I want to try to get rid of that. Um, FIU, I'm famished. Uh, this is his current uh, point percentage spread. And uh, Buckshot, MMA for San Jose State. This is his current look. So uh, we will adjust those accordingly as they advise me to when they see them. And uh, so from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go into recruiting as we simulate um, recruiting, players leaving, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go straight into recruiting, and I will catch up with you when we get there. All right, here we are. We are in Recruiting Central. So I thought I would just kind of check out with everybody uh, the interested prospects. And let's see, a uh, bunch of two stars interested in Marshall. I'm fighting Ewok, Buckshot's got a three star interested. And I'm famished again with uh, a lot of two star interest. So what I'm hoping is, is that we can sort of recruit above that and uh, gain some higher caliber players. But uh, we will see as we go through each week. All right, I'll catch you at the end of the week one. Okay, week one, FIU, no commitments. Marshall, no commitments. And no commitments. All right, here's to a better week two. Week two. All right. FIU with uh, three commits. Not high quality, but the same here. Some commitments, two stars. And a couple of two stars here for San Jose State. All right, let's see what week three brings. Week three commitments for recruiting. Two more players for FIU. Two stars. Um, a two star for my Marshall. And a whole host of players for San Jose State. Most of which are two stars, but still really filling up the positions. So I hope they develop well. All right, moving into week four. Week four commitments FIU with several commitments. Again, mainly two-star commitments, but still several nonetheless. And all from Florida. That makes sense. Okay. And now we're looking at Marshall. Two players. A quarterback and an athletic. It uh, looks like they're both two stars. All right. And once again, um, San Jose State just loads up. Uh, again, two stars. All right. Here we are. Week five commits. So several more two stars for FIU. Uh, and then as we roll into Marshall, uh, we got a few more two stars rolling in the door. And then we finish up with San Jose State, who also received one, two, three, four, five more commitments for recruits. So with that, 
I think now let's check out the uh, the top classes, the top recruiting classes. So we will check that out here. And it looks like Texas took the top class. Four five-star recruits, followed by West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Nebraska, and Oklahoma rounded out the top five. Now, the question is, where did we end up? Well, let's see if we can find ourselves here. Oh, come across the first. San Jose State is the best out of our group at a 58th recruiting class. Two three stars, 15 two stars, a total of 22 recruits. So number 58. Next is FIU with one four star recruit. Nice. I think that was the defensive end there. And then 11 two-star recruits. So, not too shabby there. Well, I say that it's still 71st, but a four-star nonetheless. And looks like uh, yours truly. <laughs> Fighting Ewok here. Uh, your guy here, uh, last, the worst. Uh, nobody did worse than me. Uh, last place recruiting class, so that's fantastic. Uh, just great. So 